Hello fellow criminals and Tomb Raiders, my name is Israel and in this installment of Spelunky 101 we'll cover how to kill unwitting shopkeepers so we can take their stuff without paying for it. There's quite a few ways to go about it, so let's explain them in order of complexity. Number 1. You should have known better. The you should have known better or shameless method is pretty self-explanatory. If a shopkeeper is foolish enough to have weapons for sale, well, he should have known better. All you need to do is pick it up and go to town. He won't become aggressive until you attack. Be careful though, if you shoot from too far away, he will shoot you and kill you before dying. You can even use the mattock for this, but it's tricky since you'll be digging down with each swing. Either put the mattock down and pick up his shotgun, or make sure to keep level with him until he dies. The upside is, of course, you're digging his grave as you kill him. Efficient! Don't forget to desecrate his corpse. Number 2. The Rope Bomb Lure This method is a bit of an exploit of the shopkeeper's AI, but is in my opinion the safest and most reliable way to do this evil deed. The drawback is that you'll need a bomb and a rope in most cases, so only use it if you have the resources to spare. You'll also need a good spot to place that bomb. First, you must lure the shopkeeper to the edge of the shop. This is accomplished by picking up one of his items and having him chase you to the exit. Toss a rope and take the item up with you, to make sure that the item never makes it out of the shop, because then the shopkeeper will ram his shotgun up your ass. I like to drop the item at the edge, turn around, and pick it up again while facing in. Pro tip of the day, don't take needless risks when committing murder. Once Mr. Mustachio is at the edge of his shop, go back down, drop the item, and proceed to plant the bomb next to his unsuspecting mug, outside the shop. Make sure the bomb never touches the shop grounds, which include one block outside of the side. Also take into account whether your bombs are sticky or not, since you might accidentally let the bomb slide into the shop. That would be bad. Number 3. Whip and Punch If you don't have the resources to spare, but you can afford to lose one point of health, this method is for you. Stand on the item right next to the shopkeeper, then whip! He'll pummel your face but stun himself in the process. Use this opportunity to calmly walk over to his gun and shoot him dead. Number 4. The Jumping Bomb This is a very fast and easy method to accomplish your murderous goal. It does need a bomb to work, and the timing is fairly tight. Stand on the fourth item from the shopkeeper, then press the bomb and jump buttons at exactly the same time. The man will shoot and run at you, with such fortune that you'll dodge the shot and stomp on his bald pate. Quickly grab his shotgun and give him a lesson in cold-blooded killing. If your bombs are not sticky yet, you can still do this, but be extra careful about where that bomb lands. Number 5. The Jumping Whip This final method will cost you nothing, but it's a bit hard to pull off. There's three things you must do in quick succession and with great precision. It'll take some practice to get right and even then you might still screw it up sometimes. Personally, I only use it if there's no better choice available. Stand in the middle of the shop between the second and third items. Where you stand exactly is not all that important. What matters is that your running jump reaches the wall before descent. Use your whip when you start falling, which will piss off the shopkeeper and let you stomp him. Quickly grab and toss him away, then take his shotgun and shoot before he recovers. You have less than a second to do this, so make it count. Your toss might throw him out of the shop onto a different level entirely, creating a problem you have to deal with. Fortunately, now you carry a problem solver in your hands. You might have to practice this a few times. Well, that just about does it. These are methods I've learned by watching other fantastic Spelunky players, whom are credited in the description below. Make sure to pay them your respects. Do let me know if there's other ways to assassinate our favorite retailers. I'm always eager to learn new things. I hope this tutorial helps you out in the future, or at the very least, it was decent entertainment. I trust to see you in the next lesson. Until then, I bid you farewell. And remember, always desecrate their corpses.